Hello, welcome to Daryl's Beekeeping Videos. I'm Daryl, I'm a master beekeeper, and today's lesson is about how to assemble a high body or honey super. When you purchase unassembled, unpainted hive equipment, it will save you a lot of money. Even better is if you learn how to make the woodenware yourself, if you have simple tools such as a table saw, a compound sliding miter saw, and things like that, you can actually cut the cost in half. But that'll be in a later video. This is the, a basic video on how to assemble a unassembled hive body. Or in this case, it could be also a uh, honey super, depending on whether it's a deep or medium or what your purpose is, whether you're going to use it for uh, a hive body or a honey super. So basically what you need is an unassembled hive body or honey super. It comes with two sides and two ends. You'll need either a claw hammer or a tack hammer. If you're using a tack hammer, then you will need a hive tool because it has the nail puller in case you mess up. Again, if you have a claw hammer, then you don't need the hive tool because that's what this little slot is on a hive tool to pull out nails. You'll need galvanized seven penny or seven D nails to assemble the uh, hive body. And they come in a pack uh, from your local hardware store or excuse me, from your, oh, the hardware store carry too, or from your beast store. In this case, I got mine. There's a pack of 101 of these nails for about $2.25. You can also get them from the major beast suppliers online as well. Uh, then you also need some kind of square. This is a precision tool by Woodpeckers. That's a clamping square, but I use it to uh, create a 90 degree angle on my woodenware. Or you can simply go to your hardware store like Lowe's or Home Depot and get one of these little framing squares. Uh, you can also buy one of the larger uh, 90 degree uh, squares, framing squares that are much larger and put that on the outside. You could use this on, on the inside like I have shown here. Um, so it depends on what size you need. It's depending on whether you're doing a, uh, a smaller high body or if you're doing an eight or 10, you can actually get away with uh, either the small or the large size. Uh, so for this demo, I'm just gonna simply put these aside for now and then I'll start assembling the high body. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to notice when you take the high body out of the kit, you're going to notice that one side is larger than the other. And there is a wrong way to put it together. So you have to be careful when you assemble it that you don't accidentally either have the handles upside down, which is, I don't know if you can see it in the video from there, but you can see this little bird's mouth uh, side, uh, handle for it. So again, you can either accidentally put it upside down or you could actually put the handle inside. So do be careful when you assemble it that you have the handles facing up and out. Um, some people will also use uh, wood glue uh, such as Type Bond 3 or any other type of wood glue. I personally do not use wood glue whenever I assemble my equipment because I do not want to introduce any chemicals into my hive than what are absolutely necessary. And some wood glues can uh, contain formaldehyde. So for those reasons alone, I do not use wood glue in uh, my equipment whenever I build it. Um, and I've found that the, you won't knock the equipment apart. Uh, between the nails and two to three coats of paint, there's no reason to, in my opinion, to use wood glue. But again, if that's your choice, have at it, uh, teach their own. Uh, but I, again, I personally won't use it and I've never had an issue in all the years I've been beekeeping. So with that, I'll get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put together, uh, I'm gonna grab a side and an end panel. And I'm gonna simply nail them together with a couple starter nails. Again, these are seven penny galvanized nails. And for a deep, you're gonna need about 26 or 28. I forget how many I counted earlier. But again, it's all I'm going to do is I'm going to simply loosely assemble it. Again, just dry fitting it together. And then I'm going to put the other side panel on as well. Again, remember to put the handle up and out. And before you ever sink any nail at all into it, make sure that you have everything facing oriented properly. Again, I'll do the same thing on the back, just basically dry fitting everything first. Again, there are other people who do it slightly different, but this is how I do mine. Whenever I 
buy uh, equipment that had the box frame cuts. Uh, I personally make my own woodenware. This is only for demonstration for those new beekeepers or those who do not have the equipment on how to uh, make their own. Uh, so in this case, I've now checked with my hands that all the handles are up and facing out. So now I'm just going to go in and just take my hammer and just lightly tap everything in together. Again, excuse the noise. Uh, I'm in a hotel room on a business trip and I figure while I'm over here, I'll go ahead and do some videos for you uh, to help teach you. Uh, so again, I take my seven penny nail, just simply put it in and I squeeze both directions on the high body, keep my fingers out of the way. And then I simply hammer it in place. And then I go up on top to the topmost um, holes. Again, squeeze together after I've already tapped it in dry fit. I'll go to the opposite corner as well. Again, just make sure everything is, is seated properly. And I'll worry about squaring it up uh, after I've got some good nails in first. So again, just keeping everything out of the way. And don't, don't sweat it if you have some cracks in here. Um, one, uh, the bees will fill any, any cracks in with propolis and beeswax. And when you go to paint it, it's going to cover it up anyway from the outside. So again, at this point, I'm not worrying about it being um, squared yet, yet. Now, when you put the nails in, you do need to make sure that they are vertical and they aren't angled, especially angled coming in uh, to the inside of the hive. So you want it to go straight into this. Remember this wood is only about three quarters inch thick. So you do want it to go straight down into it. So again, you see I put two nails in each corner so far. Again, just make sure if it's not uh, seated, I'm just gonna seat it and I'm gonna put my nail straight up and down. And you can hold the nail uh, with your thumb uh, just a little bit just to get it started, but don't hit it too far. You might hit the wrong nail, fingernail. Uh, so just be careful. All right, and then go around. You see this actually goes really quick. One took a little bit longer because I was going through a knot in the wood. Um, if you find a knot that's really close to where the nail is, uh, you can actually take a drill and pre-drill it first as long as it's your, your drill hole is smaller than the diameter of the uh, nail itself so that the nail has something to stick to. All right, so now that I have um, two nails in each of the corners, then I'm going to take one of my two squares. Again, it doesn't matter if you don't have the specialty tool from West, uh, from woodpeckers. You can see that it's perfectly square, just the way, just because the way I've put it in. Actually, it's a little bit off. So if you see a gap like this is up at the top, I can actually just lean into it a little bit, and hopefully my table won't slide. Uh, and again, it'll there it is. Now it's squared up. And if you only have the traditional square, you can simply put it in one corner 
and you shouldn't see gaps at the bottom or the sides. In this case, I do not, so it is perfectly square. So from there, I can continue placing my nails in the rest of the holes. If you get a nail that slides out for whatever reason, you can simply knock it back out, pull it back out uh, with the, a nail puller, and then carefully reinsert it. Um, and again, I wouldn't worry about filling in the hole because the bees will fill it in, but if you need to, you could cover it up with some wood putty or something like that. and just rotate it around. You don't need to towel on your table. This is again just to dampen the sound a little bit because I'm in a hotel room. Um, I've just got it, hopefully it dampens a little bit of the sound. And continuing around. And again, I can kind of see that the nails kind of angle a little bit. So I'm just going to take my fingers and push on it as I lightly tap it in a few times until the nail straightens up. And then from there, I just continue on nailing it in until it goes in straight. Again, be careful with your hands. In this case, I know I was lighting, hitting lightly. If you're afraid to hit, if you're afraid of hitting your hands or fingers, you can simply use a pair of pliers and hold the nail that way and then you're not smashing your fingers. And you don't have to have a lot of carpentry skills, it's very basic. And it saves you a lot of money in the process. And again, at some point I'll make a video on how to make your wooden, own woodenware and then use a stapler gun from Harbor Freight. It was like 25 bucks uh, and make this whole system. So this, if you were to buy a high body, it's gonna cost you about $15. I can make it for about 850. And if you were to buy a telescoping top, that's gonna to cost you about $22. I can make it for about $1.80, the way I make it. And that has all my nails in. So again, I just want to simply go one last time. Again, I have this tool from um, Woodpeckers I like to use. Again, it's slightly off. It's, I can see a little bit of a gap at the top. So all I'm going to do is push in toward the gap. So I'm just going to put the box at a slight angle and just kind of push on it a little bit. And it's squared up nicely. And you're not, it doesn't have to be perfectly square uh, because the bees don't care. Again, for those of you who have regular tools of the regular framing square, again, either the small one like this, you can check it, and you can even check it against two corners if you wanted to. Uh, in this case, I don't have a gap in any of it, so this is perfectly square. So you can see that it's just that easy to make a high body or a honey super. So thank you for watching.